Hello, fam. Just checking to see how you all are doing. When you catch this video, it's going to be in the wee hours of the morning. It's going to be the morning of Thursday, May 28th. Once y'all get it. Or it could be in the afternoon or the evening, depending on when y'all check your notifications and have time to view my video. Okay? Well, welcome, fam. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our channel, Dev Chanel's 4 Days World featuring the family affair honey it's gonna be a quick fast maybe 10 minute video for y'all to partake of put your comments down there and talk about subject matter we are going to be talking about lisa ray now first we knew tlc or chili and t boss got an invitation to join the real housewives of atlanta and they said no we can't mess with it we can't go there we can't go there okay because T-Boss says she ain't about that life, honey. Somebody snap on her, tell some untruths on her, and damage her name. She clapping back. And she putting them hands to their faces. Meaning she's going to connect with them. And it's not like connect four. <laughs> it's like one, two, three, a combination thing. TKO, knockout. You get where I'm going? No, nah, she can't ha handle the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because she's going to be looking at an assault charge more than likely. Well, they knocked at Lisa Ray's doorstep, people, and wanted her to come in as a true to form housewife full time. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Honey, that great juice.net had it on their vlogging entertainment site. Now, I don't know how reputable they are because I never really have used them, but maybe one or two times since I've been doing YouTube. But, honey, how I look at it, we're smoke. There's fire. Okay, ready to burn. So we're not going to turn it down. We're not going to say it's not true, but we're not going to say it is true either. We are allegedly putting stuff out over here. Okay, we just putting it out there, partaking of it, making our uh, suggestions, putting our opinions here and there. But that's all. And we're sharing our opinions with our family members like we do. When we congregate together, we talk about shit. Could be about the jobs we work on. It could be about the people we saw. Uh, making our way over to the house and what they were doing. We, it could be about COVID. It could be about anything. And we just want to just express ourselves and our opinions and see what our other family members think about subject matter. Okay? But not to tear it too long. We're going to go on and get into this story. All right? But this article of a story that Sam didn't give a last name. It's the author of this particular article. He titled it, Lisa Ray on Turning Down Real Housewives. I have a legitimate career. So, Lisa, are you saying that Kenya Moore, Cynthia Bailey, Nene Leakes, Eva Marcel, Candy Burris, Tanya Sams, and Marlo Hampton, that I miss anybody? And previous housewives from the past, they ain't got nothing going on when uh when they on this reality show because you feel some kind of way about it. And you say, I got a career. You sound like Wendy Williams, honey. You ain't putting yourself near anything that's trashy, brashy, and ain't getting you nowhere in the public eye. Okay? Child, I don't know. You felt that way, Lisa Ray, girl. You like Wendy Williams. I ain't part of that shit. That's trash. I'm class. And the two don't mix, okay? And I finally thought of that slogan, y'all. It was, if you can't, wait a minute, if you can't stay home, wait a minute. See, I just lost it. Just when I said, told y'all, I figured it out. What is it? Stay home if you can. Mask up if you can't. <laughs> I knew I was going to do it. I was here and going to work this morning. I said, damn, that's what it was. Yes, stay home if you can mask up if you can't we talking about the coronavirus people so do that i'm one of the ones that can't stay full time at home at this point but i mask up okay so remember that adage as we go forward within this covid pandemic phase we're uh partaking at this time but going back to the article it says least ray has starred in many urban classics but one role she won't be taking up is a cast spot on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. Every outspoken, the actress revealed in a new interview that she was offered a spot on the hit Bravo show. But declined. Speaking on YBF podcast, she explained, I politely gave them the no. Thank you. I actually have a legitimate career. 
I am not really a fan of reality TV right now. It's so much buffoonery and so much negativity that I'm shocked at the shit that they show. Ooh, ain't that some buffoonery and negativity? And I'm sure with it, too much fake food or fraudulent <coughs> fuckery, shitty activity going on on this Real Housewives of Atlanta and other reality shows such as Married to Medicine. You got career-driven people, and I'm talking about Married to Medicine, on reality shows acting a fool. Okay? And they're supposed to be pillars of the community out there. But we got them over here calling people cunts, calling people hoes, calling people bitches, all this kind of stuff. Are we for real? But that was just my sidebar. Going back to the article. It says, I'm just like, that's how you would treat your friend. I can't be in a scene like that because then it would turn real for me. And then it would be no more scenes because I would tear that mother up and I would be sued. <laughs> that sounds like me, y'all, in a nutshell. Yes, Lord. She goes on to say, I'm too old for certain shit. And I refuse to showcase that kind of stuff on TV. Being a grown, respectable woman. I can feel her. I can feel I'm all on this video uh, of an article they giving me. I'm, she's speaking nothing but truth. It's nothing but truth, okay? She like, hear me roar. I am woman. I am not no buffoonery or a negative woman. So you would never, ever see me on reality TV, okay? It ain't made for good TV for blacks. <laughs> Or wise ages, Indians, Eskimos, however you want to look at it, okay? But conclusion of the article it says, We've long loved Lisa Ray, brand of real, which is the exact reason we feel she would have made an awesome addition to the show. That said, what's your take on your reasoning for decline or her declining? Do you really think uh, she was true to her form of she's an actress, she don't have time for that. She she know her craft real well and she don't want that show of Real Housewives of Atlanta reality show to taint what she's built as a brand. And I was like, oh Lord, what if Nene heard that? What if Kenya heard that? Cause Kenya a D list actress, you know. She can't get it together. So she can and make her money and, and be fantastic on this show. Cause that's pretty much as far as she gonna go with the actress in world. Okay. But, uh, yeah, and, <laughs> child, <laughs> you see how they did Kim Fields, and she truly is an actress. She has been on plays, been in plays, produced shows, produced plays, been on sitcoms, very much so worthy of watching, didn't degrade her or her character at any time, okay? Y'all remember Living Single and her part in playing Regine, all right? So, honey, mm -mm, I hear what Lisa is saying, honey, and I ain't mad at her. But, family, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought of subject matter being Lisa Ray talking about. She can't get on this crazy reality show because it ain't nothing but fake foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity going on with these black women. And we shouldn't be shown that way. So, she's saying, shame on you, Bravo TV. Shame on you, True Entertainment. Shame on you, Andy Cohen. Hell no. Take that off of trying to become a peach holder and shove it straight up your dairy air. That's what I'm guessing she told them in a polite way. Okay. But y'all get down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this particular subject matter. Way in, honey. Way in, um, son. Yes. And I will see y'all next video. But don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. All right, good night.